ability. And so Shadow's got to use that power to overcome here and win the Intercontinental title and get his Emerald back. Oh man, and kill Sonic perhaps. I'm sure a lot of fans wouldn't mind seeing Sonic in a grave after this one. What a spear bite. Shadow, man, he's taken charge of these two by by extreme amount of force and here's that modified figure four leg lock and the shadow could be moments away from winning here and is Sonic gonna tap? He does! Sonic taps! Shadow has made Sonic tap and thus the winner of this match and the new ASF Intercontinental Champion Shadow! And thus revenge has been served out to uh, Sonic and Chaos has walked away unsuccessful here because the return of Shadow has been a successful return and Shadow has picked up the Intercontinental title along with his workings I didn't see him get the Emerald though well Sonic still has that in his possession but uh, Shadow well Sonic may have saved himself there maybe he tapped just on instinct because he's got that Hell in a Cell match later but nonetheless now he now has no chance of becoming undisputed champion in that match because Shadow has cost him the Intercontinental title because now Shadow is the new champ and uh, we'll see Sonic later on in action to see if he can win the world title it's a sacrifice sacrifice Intercontinental title for world title I mean, that's what Wario is assuming and, uh, yeah well coming up next uh, this isn't about titles, it's about careers. It is Aki's career on the line here on Raw, in the ASF in fact, because Eggman wants to erase Aki for good. If Eggman wins this career threatening match, then Aki will no longer be able to be on Raw or Smashdown. He will be eliminated from the ASF permanently. That's next. Contest is the career threatening match set for one fall. If Aki loses this match, he must retire from the ASF. Introducing first from the Sonic series, weighing 282 pounds, he is the co general manager of Raw, Dr. Eggman! 282 pounds, wow. Wow, they'll impress. <laughs> oh, please don't make me laugh. <laughs> Well there you go folks, I think someone asked him on the forum how heavy is he, he said you'll find out at Armageddon and that's why. <laughs> 282. Just a near 300 pounds here Aki's dealing with then. To save his career. But what is Eggman going to pull off here in this match? Who knows? The unpredictable general manager, the co-general manager I should say has the power to do whatever he wants in this match and I believe he damn well will to eliminate Aki here. And his opponent from the Woodpatch Forest and the co-general manager of Raw, Star's boyfriend, Aki! Well, he may be Star's boyfriend, but uh, will he be an employee here in the ASF? Is this the last walk down the aisle for Aki? If all goes well for the Doctor and whatever he's got planned in that sick twisted mind of his for this match, he can do anything he wants, you realize. He could bring that cell down and we could have a preemptive Hell in a Cell match for all you know. I know Wario's just going to the extreme, but you know, Eggman's been known to go to the extreme. What with the triple challenge and all. Yeah, he went extreme there. He broke his neck almost <laughs> on that uh, shooting star press. That was uh, way too extreme. But uh, we wish, we hope Aki is successful here because otherwise he's gone. And here we go. And Aki is going to be pulling out all of his stops that he can. He's been known as the wild card. We don't know if he's ever been able to. Uh, he's been picking up a few victories and been picking up a few losses, but Eggman wants to erase, he, as he says, at least this bit of rubbish. 
from uh, his opponent or his rival general manager, let's say. It's all mind games in Wario's mind. If Eggman wins this match, then that makes him more intimidating to the other general manager star. Does indeed. And uh, Aki pounding away, trying to build momentum here, because he's going to need it, I believe. Look out. Oh, man. Reversal of that monkey toss. And Aki goes crashing to the mat. Dropkick. Eggman stands there and takes the blow. And uh, into the corner now. Aki trying to build... Trying to just create offense after offense after offense here, and I don't blame him honestly. If I was to save my career, I'd be throwing everything at my opponent with, without giving him one single chance. Here's a single leg Boston crab, and uh, Eggman reversed it. Sadly for Aki, he needs every opportunity he can get because Eggman's going to capitalize on every single opening here with a nice kick there, the kitchen sink right to the gut. And he's signaling the head that this match could be already over. And, well, Mario doesn't think so, but that's War uh, Eggman being full of himself. It certainly is him being full of himself. He has been full of himself since uh, he became general manager, or even just before that. Since day one, he's been rather uh, full of himself. Aki now pounding away, but uh, again Eggman capitalizing on mistakes. He is the ring general. That's why he's a manager as well as the uh, GM. Oh man, poke in the eye there. Poke in the goggles. <laughs> I don't know what's worse, the poke in the eye or the poke in the goggles, because you then you push the goggles into his eyes. Yeah, that hurts. <laughs> Aki pans away again. Trying to, as I said, trying to get in as many shots as possible, weaken down Eggman. Eggman's got a high resiliency, he's got a high threshold for pain. It's hard to pin the guy. And it's hard to get your body over that massive ton that's uh, walking around in the ring. You mean the massive 300 pounds? Yeah, well, the ton was uh, an over-exaggeration that I actually enjoy. <laughs> Look out! Oh, there's the tree stump. It could save Aki's career here. And going for the cover, but I didn't notice there Eggman's foot was, too, was on the rope. And the referee calls for a break and gets it. Aki hooking up here with this strong grapple. Wait a minute. Eggman reversed his into the hammerlock. He's going to use everything and anything at his disposal here in this match. As long as Aki lets him. Hey, sometimes it, it's not intentional to leave an opening to your opponent. That is a good factor. That is a good point. It's sometimes not intentional. It's just the natural ability of your opponent to uh, detect a weakness that you don't think is going to be one. And Aki could be finishing, though, what he started with another tree stump coming up. Man, oh man, how does he lift up that much weight into, onto his back and then drops him down face first? And again, Aki's uh, pinning situation not paying off. It was too close to the ropes again. Doesn't hurt to be the size of Eggman when you're getting pinned. Yeah, you've got a a good circular the like uh, area there what do you call it who cares <laughs> he's just big <laughs> look out a Aki was uh, saying some words there some abuse to Eggman and he throws him over the top back into the ring and oh no oh my god all of that weight coming down on Aki oh luckily though he kicks out Aki's career was a uh, sit down away Man, Wario don't want to be in that position, as large as he is. One. He feels sorry for Aki after that one. Two. Look out, Eggman. Reversing Three. here. Four. And uh, punishing Aki's arms here. Five. That prevents uh, Aki from pulling off with some of his favorite maneuvers, that tree stump for one. Which Aki has performed two of now and still not been able to put Eggman away. Well, that's probably because he's been doing it too close to the ropes. If it was away from the ropes, he might have already won by now and his career would have been saved. Eggman, jeez, using all of his body weight there in the corner and sandwiching Aki into the turnbuckles. But Eggman comes out in front of us here on the announce table over here at ringside for this night. Which is scary with that hell in a cell above us. Wait a minute. Oh, this is scary. Oh, man. There's the falling star power.